This is an overview of Retcon by Audio Warp. Retcon is a dual voice synthesizer with 83 unique patches consisting of synth sounds inspired by the electronic duo Boards of Canada. Sounds in this instrument have all been created using the original methods used by the group themselves, including vintage analog synthesizers, four track tape machines, valve amplifiers, and even VHS video recorders all to create an instrument that is both captivating and true to the group's identifiable sound. So without any further delay, let's dig into the instrument and take a look at its dual voice playback engine. In the upper left and right corners, you can see the name of two patches. I'm going to enter the patch selection for voice one by clicking the upper left hand corner with the patch name, everything you do is a synth. Once here, we can browse through all 83 available patches by clicking the four radial buttons on the far left or filtering through them by clicking on the names keys, leads, pads, and plucks. Recon makes it easy to quickly visualize the waveform characteristics of each patch by displaying an overview under each name. Let's go ahead now and take a listen to some of the available sounds. As you can see, both browsing and selecting patches on each voice is both intuitive and fast. There's a wide array of sounds available in Retcon, which cover the sonic territory including modulated keys, subtle leads, ambient drones, pitch stabs, and more. Leaving the patch browser now, we can further refine both of the voices through the instrument pages. Retcon features six unique instrument pages, including the dual voice editor, a dual filter editor, insert effects for both voices, an options page, modulation effects, and finally, a step sequencer. Let's get started by taking a look at the voice page. Organized by color, we have the dual voice unison section in blue, which applies to both voices, voice one in yellow, voice two in red, and the voice mix control in green. The voice mix control is used to blend between voice one and voice two. And we can hear this taking effect as we switch voices in real time. Moving on now to the individual voice settings, we have control over the pan for both voice one and voice two. The tune or transposition of each voice, plus and minus one octave. The stereo width of each voice. This is especially powerful when playing with the mid-side perspective between each voice. The sample start time. And both the attack and release time. Each voice also has a dedicated detune control for creating subtle or not so subtle variations between each of the two voices. Voice 2 also has one unique control in that it's able to change its pitch range plus and minus two octaves. Moving on now, let's take a look at the filter page. Retcon has two filters, which can be arranged either in series or parallel. This is accomplished by clicking the center icon in the middle of the filter page. The top position is series and the bottom position is parallel. When in parallel mode, filter one affects voice one and filter two affects voice two. Each filter can be configured either as high pass, band pass, or low pass filter. As you can hear, 
In certain scenarios, the series and parallel switch can have a profound impact. Each of the two filter voices also has a dedicated filter intensity. This is controlled by the shared filter ADSR envelope. Alongside filter envelope, each voice also has a filter LFO with shared LFO speed and shape controls. There are 16 synchronized LFO speeds, ranging from 1 bar to 1 32nd note triplets. As you can hear, the possibility for deeply modulated filter shapes are not hard to come by. Retcon features a very powerful filter section, and we're still just scratching the surface. So let's move on and check out the effects page. The effects page consists of eight unique insert effects. On the far left hand side, we have two effects together, crush and saturation. Crush is a combination of both bit crushing and sample rate reduction. This effect is applied directly on the samples themselves. It's useful for recreating the sound of lo-fi vintage samplers. Below this is the saturation control, useful for subtly warming sounds or smashing them completely. The next effect is the tape saturator. This effect is able to provide another characteristic type of saturation along with a secondary warmth control. Like the saturator, the tape drive is able to go from subtle warming to over-the-top distortion. The next section is the EQ. The EQ features a four-band control for low, low-mid, high-mid, and high. Along with this, it also features a dedicated EQ intensity to turn the gain ranges up from 200% to negative 200%. This is a very powerful control for tone shaping, as it can also be automated and allow for drastic tonal variations to the instrument. The next effect to look at is the flanger, featuring a dedicated mix, depth, and rate control. The delay is also featured as an insert as opposed to the traditional send and features a dedicated mix, synchronized time value, and feedback. The reverb effect includes controls for mix and size. Because the flanger, delay, and reverb are all running as inserts, they can be combined to provide unique interactions with one another. The last effect is the transient shaper, with a dedicated peak or attack control and trail or sustain control. The peak can be useful for creating a percussive element to the sounds, while trail can help increase the volume of the sustained or decayed portions of the sound. Again, all of the controls can very quickly be returned to their default position by command or control clicking. The next page to look at are the option controls. Here's where we can find the settings related to MIDI key splits, 
velocity, max voice count, and randomization. Retcon is able to set its voice count between mono and legato, or up to 64 simultaneous voices. By default, both voices are set to play across the entire keyboard. However, we can also assign key splits, so voice one and voice two play on different portions of the keyboard. Each voice also has its own dedicated velocity sensitivity control and randomization controls, which can be used to add a human or analog element to the sound. Random pan will move each played sample to a random position within the stereo field. Random start will pick a randomized start time for the played sample. Random volume will modulate the sound of each played sample within six decibels. Random tune will modulate the pitch of each played sample within plus or minus 50 cents. Let's go back and adjust a few settings now to make this more noticeable. Extreme values can make the instrument sound broken, while subtle values can help add a slight bit of analog warmth. The next page to look at is the modulation page, which includes controls for tremolo, auto pan, pitch modulation, and modulated sample rate reduction. The tremolo features 16 synchronized speeds, five shapes, and a depth control. The auto pan features an identical feature set to the tremolo, but opposed to modulating volume, modulates pan. In the center section is a global control for adjusting the overall intensity of both the pitch envelope and pitch LFO. When the pitch mod depth is set to zero, no pitch modulation will happen on either the pitch envelope or pitch LFO. Increasing this value will globally increase the intensity of both the pitch envelope and pitch LFO. of this section is the sample rate depth and sample rate speed. This is useful for recreating lo-fi jitter effects found in early digital audio equipment. The noise controls blend in a randomized noise level, which help recreate a lo-fi characteristic found in many inexpensive audio tools. Together, these two controls are very useful for recreating the sound of various lo-fi digital and analog distortions. The last section we have is Retcon's unique step sequencer. The sequencer can be set between 1 and 16 steps and features 12 unique pattern banks. Speeds can range from 4 bars per step to a 30 second note. Each step allows for control over volume, chord shape, and pitch. We can enable the sequencer by clicking the sequencer button in the top right hand corner. Let's change the time to quarter note to make the changes more noticeable. Now let's enter the pitch section and start adjusting the pitch on some of the steps.
We'll now limit the length of the pattern to eight steps, which will make a shorter loop. On the right side of the sequencer, we can see some extra controls, including latch, which allows us to play the sequencer without holding down a key on the keyboard. This is useful for playing back the pattern while we edit the sequence in real time. Now that we have our sequence created, let's slow the speed back down to one bar and create a more evolving chord progression. Now that we have our sequence created, we can go back through the other pages and tweak our sound even further. So as you can see, Recon not only allows for the easy creation of sounds, but also musical phrases and patterns as well. For users of Complete Control and Machine, Recon is already pre-mapped for those hardware controllers. Every parameter of the instrument appears in its own page, allowing all editing to be done directly from the controller. For all other users, automation controls are pre-mapped and allow for easy control via MIDI Learn or host automation. Thank you for taking the time to check out this overview of Retcon by Audio Warp, available exclusively at contacthub.com. Mm -hmm.